I got these guy friends, believe it or not. My male social circle I would describe as guys who also would have been put to death during the Salem witchcraft trials. Remember how a couple guys got caught up in a mess? A handful of he-hims got tossed in with the honeys? For doing random shit, like journaling. I would have gone down on day one. Old panty legs here? Oh, they would have taken me out. Day zero. Young good bitch Fleming. You were seen in a field smiling at horses. What is your plea? in those gangs. <laughs> yeah, my guys, they all would've gone down too. My friend Blaine, they would've got him for how quietly he and his dad talk to each other. <laughs> my friend Dick for the falsetto he hits when he orders food at restaurants. <laughs> and my friend Jer for having a southern accent, even though he's from Brookline, Mass. <laughs> I'm from Massachusetts, and this is why I got, I feel obligated to speak about the Sam Witchcraft trial. It's all we learned about, K through A. You couldn't, a lot of things you couldn't do in Salem. You couldn't be doing it. <laughs> you better not be doing that. The vast majority of people persecuted in Salem were women, but there were also a few slightly off metrosexuals, <laughs> to use a term my mom loves. <laughs> My mom got her hands on metrosexual long after it already long culturally expired. And she makes a feast of it to this day. She'll call me at 6 a.m. Chris, would you say Ryan Seacrest is metro? I guess if I had to. Why, wow, you're taking the SATs right now? I gotta talk about, I gotta educate about Salem. <laughs> it's because Massachusetts doesn't have a Bruce Springsteen. Who's Massachusetts Springsteen? Elizabeth Warren? <laughs> if we had a Springsteen, there'd be a top 40 ballad about what went down in Salem. There'd be Bruce singing to a hottie, <laughs> saying he wouldn't have narked on her <laughs> if he had seen her practicing <laughs> witchcraft in Salem. <laughs> I've seen you speak in tongues. I wouldn't have told good about them. I would have hopped on your broomsticks and come out on the turnpike. Let's ride till my soul patch is known. The most famous he had to get thrown in with the honeys was a guy named Giles Corey. We spent all of seventh grade on Giles Corey. Science, math, so Jim, all Giles. Giles is an aspirational figure for yours truly. Because he went down with dignity. I don't even remember what they got him for. I think it was, I think it was for correctly identifying a maxi pad. What they get me for? It, it, the amount of baths I take in a day. L.A. County finds out about what I'm up to. <laughs> and I I'm so tall that only my thorax is in the tub. <laughs> the rest of me is in this, you know when you're, you know like when someone uses two pool noodles? <laughs> you know when your aunt decides to go zero gravity mode? DWP thinks I'm either like a water park. <laughs> I think they have me listed as a hydroponic cantaloupe super lab. <laughs> 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 
like they, they crushed Giles. They piled stuff on Giles they, to death. They gave him an opportunity to defend himself, but he didn't stoop to their level. He went down with dignity, pride, grace, and sass. I don't even remember what they got him. I think it was for like listening to the same Celine Dion song on Lou. <laughs> Giles, <laughs> was thou blasting That's the Way It Is <laughs> on Bluetooth speakers by the lake on repeat, <laughs> spitting in the face of the rest of the illustrious back catalog of the French Canadian diva? <laughs> what dost thou say in defense of thyself, Giles? And his famous last words, of course. Play that's the way it is. <laughs> <laughs>